on with my vlog. This is a continuation of replacing the vent on top of my, my wife's travel trailer, which is going to be she shed, so she can do her astronomy down here in the field, because we felt it would be better if I was, we were able to put the telescope down here, so she can look at the stars with it and not have a problem, especially when it comes to um, wind or rain. Well, really not going to have it out in the rain, but um, by having it in here, by having this down here, see she's redoing the cushions. Looks really cool. Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna go up top. Uh, I had had the other lid. Unfortunately, I had the wrong. I had the wrong one because I didn't know which uh, which one it was. I had an idea because I looked at it, but um, just grabbed it. And it's this one here. It's got the little thing on the end. If you look at the different descriptions of them, the one I grabbed was this one here, and. I actually needed this one, which is the one I got, because when it slides, you gotta flip this up, flip this up just a little bit so it'll slide across, and then just turn it down. So, going right through that, right through that hole. So, stay tuned. I wonder who the, who the manufacturer or what the name of the trailer is here. Okay. It's called leisure time. And I keep thinking it's the um, same as a Shasta. Okay, so that's all I needed. All I needed was this cover. And that's gonna, I just gotta bend that. And slide that across. That's gonna hook right back into the original. The original uh, system right up here. So let's get up there and get that done. I put uh, a tarp on top because I really need to. I need to redo the paint on the roof here. I see some little water leaks along the way. And just so re repaint it. I need it to be be redone especially on the seals or on the uh, Seal, seal around this thing is pretty, is pretty dried out. So I think it may. It's so dried out that it's lost, it's lost that three or four inches there. Okay, it's gonna go right up underneath. That looks like so. Let's see how I can see that. See how it's, see how the, these little things are on the ends here? It's gonna go. So I guess I need to be flat. How's it gonna go on the end? Together, that's going to keep it from sliding, sliding off of there. Let's see, Let's see what it's going to do to get there. I did. 
because okay so basically you're just sliding that across okay there you go it's gonna slide it in Just slide it, slide it across enough. Now I can just crimp that just a little bit. Make sure this side's the same, as you can see, right there. Okay, just crimp it enough, and that'll keep it from sliding back and forth. And I just got my my needle nose up. And as soon as Patricia, well, I don't know. I don't think I can do it yet. I think I gotta have it on. I gotta have it on the lift. Oh, you're fine, babe. There ain't no bees around. Um, would you go ahead and crank no, that back? Crank that up for me, please. No. Okay. So, yeah, you're gonna have to. Well, I don't know how. Okay. Let's start that. Okay. She's cranking that up. Okay. Good. Uh, hmm. Gotta figure out how to get that. <laughs> okay. Don't. I don't do it that way. Let's see. Okay, that's got to go on first. Thing, because there's no way I'm gonna be able to slide it across. Okay. Hmm. It's all the way up. Figure out how to do that. I figure I'd do it the same way both ways. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Got to slide it. I also got to get that. <laughs> well, geez. How does that work? Yeah, we'll eventually here. Um, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta figure this out. Cause that's simple. You can slide that in. That, that, that's how it goes. But trying to get this in here. Why is my house crooked? That is a little different here. Huh. I gotta pull the screw down. Should be simple. <laughs> huh? Let me look on the box and see what it says. Well, the instructions say: open existing vent by lid, turning the crank handle. Remove crank handle and screen. Move two screws from the crank assembly side. Set aside, remove the dome containing clip off the side, which is what you know. So, um, unfortunately, I have to remove the crank. So, it's not quite that easy. Okay, um, yeah, you gotta remove the. Got to remove the crank. 
to get it in here. So, with that said, <laughs> gotta, gotta remove the screen. Okay, stay tuned. We need more, more, uh,